All right, I, I, I thought we were gonna save this for December, but I guess not. Um, you know, things have quieted down a little. You know, I thought we were gonna do monthly updates with these, but you know, the world of indoor football and arena football does not care about things being updated by the month. We know things are updated by the day in this sport. And why don't we start with the America West Football Conference? Let's start with them first. Um, the San Diego Red Tails, they're now the SoCal Red Tails. The SoCal Red Tails, they play in Industry, California at the Industry Hills Grand Arena, which is the former home of the LA Lynx from the NIFL from way back when, in like 2007, I believe. Um, gonna, again, going to be interesting to see how this goes because they're the only team in California. A lot of the other teams are, you know, way up north, a little ways up north in the AWFC. In the IFL, um, I believe Billy Back just got hired by Frisco. Let me, let me check that again. I, I forgot already. Yeah, he did. He did get hired by Frisco. So I wonder how that's going to do. You know, he was the former coach for Wichita Falls at one point, Nighthawks at one point. Uh, a lot of players are being signed. A lot of guys, you know, are returning. We know Drew Powell's returning to the Rattlers. We know Daquan Neal is reuniting with Dixie Wooten in Tucson. Um, I don't know what Spokane is doing, how they're going to replace Billy Back. I believe there was, like, some monetary issues. I know there was some monetary issues with Dozell, but I don't know about Billy Back. I don't know. Um, but I think they got two-time um, Arena Bowl champ Cedric Walker as their head coach. Spokane did. So again, that, that's really, you know, that's really it. We know the divisions, we know everything about that, we know the schedule's out, players are being signed, we just gotta wait for all of them to be signed. That's really the only thing we can do now with the IFL. In the CIF, things are also pretty finalized for the time being. New schedule, potentially not with with holding, you know, I, I still think there's gonna be like a new schedule that drops for the CIF. Like because you know things get things do happen you know, in, in arena ball where where dates you know can get messed up at a moment's notice. But Billings, the Billings Outlaws, seem to be the class of the CIF in regards to signings. They've signed a bunch of guys, including Charles McCollum. Very interesting there. Very interesting stuff there. I wonder if Billings, you know, you know if you sign the best guys, sign the best talent, you got you got yourself a damn good chance of winning championships. And that is the truth. In the NAL, we have huge, huge news. First things first, the Carolina Cobras, they signed Jonathan Bain. That's the first thing. Albany switched up um, their owners. I believe they switched up some of their owners. They got a new one, and the other owners are now minor owners of the team, like uh, Trudico. You know, I believe he's like a minority owner now You know, of the team. And originally, people, you know, there was speculation there was going to be expansion in Oklahoma City and New Orleans. Instead, instead of that, the AAL said San Antonio, the Gunslingers. Y'all remember the Gunslingers from the AAL, right? Yeah. They lost the AAL West Championship to North Texas. And we will talk about North Texas in a moment here. North Texas Bulls. Um, but this came as a complete surprise to me. I know there's a guy that was commenting, and I'm sure he's going to comment on this video as well. Um, I forgot his name. I'm, I'm not good with names of YouTube users. I'm sorry. Um, but he, he must have gotten this right because he, he was telling me and he was telling some other people, you know, that you know, fought, that are active with the NAL, that follow the NAL pretty actively as well, that San Antonio was going to the NAL. He was right. I don't know how. They're, I believe they're getting a new arena, you know, somewhere too. I forgot what the arena was called. But San Antonio, you are in the AAL. Will you be another failed AAL expansion team, though, is the question. That is the biggest question here. We've heard nothing from Jersey. I, I haven't heard anything from Jersey. Other teams have designed players. The only the only problem is Jersey. But I mean, they might they might still be committed. Who knows? That that's really the only thing, you know. There, there, there's been a track record that's been established, you know. 
you know, with the AAL teams coming over to the NAL, there's been a track record. I mean, West Virginia still, you know, they're they're tied up with the owners, you know, with the other owners of other teams right now. And I believe that's why, you know, some of the Albany guys stepped back was to get, you know, more control of the West Virginia team. That's probably why. But this is going to be a huge adjustment, way outside the travel footprint, in my opinion, for the NAL. You know, this this would actually seem more fit as a team, you know, in the IFL, or maybe even one of the leagues. We'll, t we'll talk about that league last. Um, but, you know, again, interesting stuff here. I don't know how this is going to go um, for the NAL. We'll see. They're at eight. They're technically at eight. This is what I predicted. They'll be at eight teams next year in 2022. We'll see if that number changes, though. Again, we don't know what's going on with some of these teams. I haven't looked internally at everything. I haven't seen a media post from Jersey in a while. We know West Virginia is still tied up in things. And we're just wondering how San Antonio will do. Everybody else is in pretty good shape, I believe. In the AIFA, the American Indoor Football Alliance, um, there's really only one thing is that the Mississippi Raiders, they moved to Jackson, Mississippi, home of the Jackson State Tigers, by the way. And there's also a little nugget about the Birmingham Ravens. I don't know what kind of team they are. They might. They, they look like they, they, they're pitching themselves to join. But there's been nothing there from them. But the big one, the big one is the um, Arena Football Association, which is the presumed continuation of the Lone Star Series back in July, you know, June and July and August, in which Amarillo and West Texas are a part of, and they helmed this league as, you know, the founders of this, you know, league, and another league in Texas. How many times have we seen that before? We had, we had like a lone, we had like a lone star football league like way back in 2013, I believe. But this Arena Football Association here has Amarillo, has the West Texas Warbirds, and the biggest surprise is the North Texas Bulls coming over from the AAL. Prop, I don't know what the NAL expansion fee is. Some say 25,000, some say 100,000. You know, it is what it is. I don't, I don't know what. I don't know what it is, but this is a real hit in the gut here that, you know, a lot of teams in Texas have just said, we're going to do our own thing. We're going to do our own league. Now, the big problems here is, one, the Texas Jets, travel team, they claim to play in Houston. That, that's a bold claim, you know, quotation marks here. And it seems that the Texas Crude, which is a team in North Richland Hills, supposedly I don't know how that's going to work out and you know the last team that was listed on their site at the time of this recording that I got in my notes is the Rio Grande Valley Dorados which is I believe a revival of another Rio Grande Valley team of the same name and they and I believe there's been like three or four Rio Grande Valley teams like come on Rio Grande Valley is already in a college football team do we really need an indoor team do, we re do they really need an indoor team? I mean, maybe, because there's a lot of people down there in the valley. But, I mean, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever, man. But, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as, you know, the um, updates for now. There's nothing else, really. There's just been signings and stuff, players and coaches. That's really the other big things that's been happening, mostly in the IFL. And, um... Again, my thoughts here is that, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't know what my thoughts are. I really don't know because, I mean, the NAL expansion thing blindsided me. The Arena Football Association also was a big, big blindside. I, I, I didn't, we didn't know what Amarillo and West Texas were going to do. We presumed it was going to be something, that, that they were going to do something, but I didn't think it would be this, you know. And I guess they must have they must have done something. I don't think they did anything to burn their bridges with the CAF. I mean, it, it was a it was a good business decision not to play, you know, all the way up until June when things got a little bit better. You know, CIF played their season. They got their season somehow. They got their season out of the way, 
by you know June, I mean you know it, something had to have happened to where this new league has now you know become what it is. Um, of course, you know there's other leagues as well that uh, I just haven't found the time to get notes for or anything like that because they're harder to track. You know, you know I usually get you know my things from uh, the Facebook forums from Arena Fan from the 50 yard shit posting discord that you can join I know some people that are subscribed here you know have joined the discord uh, I, I, I never share the links or anything because I'm not I'm not good I'm not that great with technology I'm, I'm just I uh, got an intermediate level with it so yeah I don't do it for this update um, again I'll see you all tomorrow you know, you're going to be seeing this tomorrow. I'm recording this on a Tuesday night, so you'll be seeing this on Wednesday. I don't want to upload two videos in a day. That's kind of, kind of stupid of me. But you'll see this on Wednesday, you know, probably around like 11 a.m. or something like that, as usual. And, again, hope you all take care, and I will see you all again soon with more content on the channel. Take care, everybody.